to my channel for another vlog, a very spontaneous vlog, I have to be honest. <laughs> Tina was just down here, as you hear, helping me behind the camera, and was vlogging for her channel. And then I was like, oh, actually, I feel like I should be vlogging this. And the camera was in the car. So here we are. <laughs> my phone didn't know it. Addie has had a lovely, fresh clip and is looking super. She is feeling so, so well at the moment. Yeah, let's not get that side because that's with the dodgy leg. No. <laughs> There's only hair, it'll grow back, it's fine. Um, but we are down here at the school. We're just having a little pop before team jumping tomorrow, team Christmas jumping. So it's more Vlogmas content being created tomorrow, which is exciting. And there's an awful lot coming up as well. <laughs> um, but I'll probably talk about that in another vlog coming up soon. Maybe the first vlog, actually. Oh, vlog oh Wilbur, away. Away, darling. Wilbur wants to play. He does want to play. Mum's not playing with me. Will Addy play with me? Shall we give away the secret that this might be the second take because of technology? Yes, my lovely new fancy camera just had a little moment. So I'm actually going to say now, can we pause it, stop it? <laughs> and just check it's recording. And if you're enjoying this video, guys, make sure you give it a like. It's very important. It helps them get seen far and wide. Test complete. It worked. Hey, good news. But I, last night, well, actually this morning, got back quite in the early hours of the morning because I went up to Hartbury for the big, for the biggie jump. Well, who wants to play? Good girl, Addy. I mean, six-year-old dog proof, just saying. Don't you, girl? Um, but I went up to Hartbury and watched the Piggy TV on tour, like a demo with Laura Collett. And oh my goodness, it was worth the long drive. And the Wilbur, no. Night. It's not my dog, guys. Wilbur, come, but I am in charge of it. Come here, sit. Wilbur, sit. Sit. Wilbur. Ah. Behave, stay there, stay. Thank you. Continue, Vu. I don't quite know where I got to before all the barking started. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Um, I think, no! What, you want the camera on you? Is that what you want? Sorry. Um, you sit there then, you be on camera. <laughs> he's a big baby, guys. He's a big baby, he just wants to play. <laughs> and he's wondering where Poppy is, I think. Right, sit. Take it away, Em. Go and do all your wiggling that you just did that we've already filmed that didn't work. <laughs> You were inspired, inspired by Piggy and Laura. And I came down here because I wanted to give her a little pop before tomorrow and I put out a load of poles to almost do a course and then I thought, is that Wilbur. actually what we need to be doing today? And I then thought, no, I'm going to set up the exercise that I saw only last night that was perfectly demonstrated by Laura <laughs> and Piggy. But I thought, actually, it's not going to be too physically tasking for her, but it would get her brain working and also to listen to me. That's what we need in the jumping. So coming down sometimes and just jumping the odd fence around the arena, I don't necessarily think it is the right thing. And that was something Laura was saying about her horses and why she does so many groups, because they can jump one jump on its own really well. And but it's actually getting them thinking about their legs and thinking about their bodies and stuff like that. So we are going to do this. I'm going to just quickly demonstrate. We've seen obviously Laura going down through this. I am not there doing the flying chain, guys. I'm not quite at that level, but I will just show that this is brilliant for warming up as well and to make sure that you're nice and loose and to get them bending, supple around your inside leg. And again, just getting their brain working that they've got to be going in and out of around and are they going left are they going right i guess it's frequently changing the leg isn't it rather than the bend rather than all the time yeah he was really like encouraging like make sure that you're nice and loose and like it is a bit like pulley make sure and pull them round it to make them really like have to use their body to like bend. yeah yeah um so yeah we will we'll just demonstrate that quickly again <laughs> third time lucky done a little bit on my vlog a little bit on the vlog that didn't work and a little bit now. And this is um, an exercise that is brilliant for those ones as well. Why don't you start just trotting? He's, he's warmed up and I'll do a little example. You're going to weave in between the poles. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it. Yes. You're not watching. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. And I want to start seeing you turning a little bit left and then turning a bit right. And to start with, just go up the weave poles without trying to think it's too perfect. Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. How so, far out are we going? Well, not, keep it tight. Not more. too far. Go a little bit tighter than that. Maybe just to start with. So clearly, you're dealing with an outstanding rider at the in the start that has 
exceptional ABCs put on her and the horse is going to be immaculately trained. But this is, you will find when you get on younger horses or something, I want you to get the feeling just to start that you go left, you go right, you go left, you're not being dressage marked, that's it. And it can be just a little bit quicker, tighter, that your arms are just one nice, good, strong bit of elastic that pulls them left, pulls them right. And I want you to get the feeling that the neck bends, the back moves, it gives in the ribs, and you're really sort of, and it might hit the bridle and gob about. For people at home doing this the first time, you know, it's annoying she's so bloody good, really, because it'd be nice to get people in that, you know, haven't quite got this, this feel with them, because when you start with a green horse or a novice horse, or a horse that's never done this, and you straight away go, turn right, turn left, turn right, they really could hit the bridle and sort of block and be like, what, that way already? And then the important thing about this is keep trotting and keep turning them one way, turn them the other, with no emotion at all. It is not a stress or a pressure, or, but really sort of feel sometimes you can overdo really getting a bit of inside eye, really getting, so you feel the spine actually starting to move. Well, she should be a pro at this now. She will be a pro at this now. Positive thinking. Good girl, Addy. Wilbur, come. Wilbur, come. He doesn't really understand the horse thing. Highlights what rain they're better at bending and not. Wilbur. <laughs> Good girl, Addy. Good girl, Addy. Chloe, stay. <laughs> She's so much better than Banksy would be with a loose dog. I did offer to put them in the car. Em said it's good for her. And she's being very good. So then you can come round and then you we'll become. And you already know the walk transition. Yeah, she anticipated that slightly. <laughs> Not a bad thing because it means she's learnt it. Yeah. We'll become. And you're making sure that you want to stay straight on those middle bits. I wish you had your mics. I know. Oh, I wish I had my horse here. And then that you can also do it in canter, but to make it slightly easier, you can do it in every other jump rather than make it really narrow for her, or are you going to try and show us really narrow? Hmm? Come on, you two. Wilbur away. Good boy. Good girl. Well done, Addy. Yeah, that's nice. To get the the right canter. Don't over, um, don't be afraid of training. I think that's a really important thing to learn with training horses. Don't be afraid to fail. All of this is trying to get our horses better and us better. So don't worry if you do this for three, five times or something. It's like, this doesn't feel so good. This doesn't look like colic. Not many of us are going to try to look like colic. But what we can do is just get little bits that we can start to just get a little bit better and improve ourselves our thought process of it and the discipline. The important thing of us just learning and trying to change a horse, good girl, that was beautiful. Like an absolute monkey in trot. So I actually do make myself do it every now and then because quite often in cross country, things go wrong and we're stood at a fence on a wrong stride and our horse has got to think it's got to go and we have got to learn to get work on our balance and our strength and our feel. Good boy. And be able to hold a line. Good boy. Back to trot. Hold a line. And then relax by it. Good boy. Falling over that one. Which is fine. And I never give a kick or anything. I feel my horse was just had an ear cocked to the gateway then of his mate just leaving. And that's for his job. Good boy. Then he felt a bit more careful that time. Oh, I hate people that have a rail down and give them a good kick to say, come on, pick your feet up. And then they just look back at the rider a bit. Hi, right, I think we're ready to jump. Now this is going to surprise her. We're going to trot it. Wilbur, stay. Whee! She's like touching it.
think he was really encouraging trot jumping. Oh, good. And Cam always does as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Definitely being careful over it in trot. No, you might have to say that again because it wasn't on. What? About oh, I missed jumping her huh? after the next jump. She says that she gets bucked off. <laughs> I think Addie's missed jumping. Would you do like one to four first so it's not such a sharp angle or? <laughs> She's very keen. very keen, but like you say, that's where it's beneficial not to have done a course because you just get faster and flatter. Faster and flatter, yeah, 100%. Then I'll go into canter, and I'm gonna just try and do one, three, and five. Again, using that flexibility. Boys, I've got a bit of bend in the middle. Straightness. The boy, come back the other way. This helps with our cross country riding. Trainable, trainability of them, keeping on the line, getting a leg change. Good boy. You did that completely different to what I thought you were going to do. <laughs> that was very good actually. She wanted us to... Dart, yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, she had she knew she had to wait a bit. Like she went home. Oh okay.
boy, straight. Good boy. Now we'll see if Emily's done her striding right. <laughs> what did they say to make it? T normal or sh slightly shorter? Oh. Okay. Take it away. Are you coming off the left or right, Rain? I'm going to go for Perfect. Yeah, the first one she got a bit deep. She got a bit deep to the air, but she sorted it out. I think just keep your shoulders back slightly longer on the approach. Me? Yeah. Am I going too far? Okay. Yeah. I'm not waiting for that one. I'm yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. She has just jumped all of this really well. I think it was definitely a good exercise for her when she wants to land and kind of run with you she's like oh no wait there might be another fence don't know what direction i'm going next exactly so it was really good for her but that is something i want to do over the winter is lots of grids and she jumped down through that really well and definitely once we got that striding coming around into the first one like you said i hadn't walked it so i was kind of trying to play and guess with it yeah just but take the inside on that track inside line made it feel very tight turn <laughs> Um, but, but it made the strides work because you didn't have room to do a outer line and get no, four in there. No, but oh, she jumped really well. And even when she went over that one, there was a couple of times I was like, do I pull her out? No, just let her sort it out and she does. So. Yeah, exactly. She needs to learn to get deep as well, doesn't she? Because yeah, she would choose not to. Yeah, she's bold that she'd rather go on the, on the bold one. But no, really pleased with that. And I think, yeah, excited for tomorrow now. Good. Yeah. I think you enjoyed yourself as well, didn't you, Eddie? Because, yeah, that was fun, Mum. <laughs> I think Wilbur enjoyed himself. So much so, he's barking in the car because he wants he's to come back out and play. He's going to sleep so well tonight. He, he loves Eddie. He does. <laughs> oh, it's so nice having you back, though. I missed you. <laughs> I just love jumping, though. I do love jumping. Good girl. Libba. It's always that one extra one that we always say, don't we? And we're like, why do we bother? Oh, I know. It's no, that's why it's good to have somebody here, because otherwise you'd have carried on. It's knowing when to stop, isn't it? It is. Mm. And when it's going well, but then you end up making it not go well, because... Yeah. Is that a wrap, Addy? It's a wrap. Yeah. Is this your final vlog before Vlogmas? It is. Yes, it is. Which is a little... I'm going to be completely honest. I have found planning and getting everything sorted. And even though I am quite organised, I would say. Could have done with maybe being this organised a month ago. But I am feeling quite overwhelmed by everything that's sort of coming up. But it's all going to be good. It's all fun and exciting things that we have got. And educational too. Yeah, there is. There's going to be, yeah, some opportunities yeah. in there as well that I'm really excited about. But they will all be revealed in December. So, yeah, make sure that you are subscribed i'm doing one every other day oh i'm not saying this on my vlog <laughs> <laughs> one of my other vlogs okay oh it don't really matter i'm probably gonna say it on instagram aren't i i'm gonna be doing them every other day starting on the first of december which scarily doesn't seem that far away not that far away at all and you're doing every third i think ev every third day yeah. starting on the second or third, not not entirely sure yet. Not on the first. No. No, not on the first. No. I think you and Meg are both putting out on the first. So. Oh, okay. Fine. We won't in on date, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys love it, though. We know you do. That's why we're. Yeah. That's why we're doing it, and I hope that you do enjoy all of the content that, co that is coming out on all of our channels. So make that you make sure you are subscribed to all Tina's and Meg's as well, and Luce doing it. I believe well. so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what her schedule is or how many she's. I don't out. either. No. But uh, yeah. We have I don't think Lucy does. Video with them, haven't we? With, for your we have. We have. Oh, we're oh, going. God, we're rewinding three years. Now, exactly. But, yeah. I am going to get to my pony home. Get ready for the show tomorrow. I hope you guys have enjoyed this spontaneous, short and sweet vlog. I would say it is for a change. Mm -hmm. um, we always say that, and then it's still at least half hour. But I don't think this one will be. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I think it's good. You've been quite yeah. disciplined with your. I'm only jumping a few, so that's exactly. good. Exactly. Yes. 
and that's why my feet are now on the ground <laughs> but yes hope you guys have enjoyed it please do like this video leave a comment down below and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already and until oh, you should say until next time but i'm going to say until vlogmas <laughs> see you all there on the first of december Bye -bye.